Let's talk about supers. So, I said on my very first stream, a super is the same as a regular attack, which is the same as a Shoryuken. A regular attack is the same as a special attack, which is the same as a super. The only thing is a super has a restriction, which is a usually meter. Something, some kind of criteria has to be met. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just had some grilled cheese sandwiches and a little phlegmy. Anyway, so right here is where you would add your uh, super, your meter check. So for for my game, I have a fail frame, which this is going to change. I realized it was really bad. Uh, to explain what happened, I have a... I have... The input for this attack is a completely independent button. In my game, I have a vertical, a horizontal, and then a vertical launch and a horizontal launch. Then I have a meter button and a grab button. That meter button is connected to this super. And if you have no meter or not enough meter to do the super, he will go into a fail frame, and that fail frame is literally just one frame. So the computer has been exploiting that, which is why I've been changing I'm going to change it. That they would cancel into this attack, have not enough meter, freeze for one frame, and then continue attacking. Because my fail frame is right here. It is literally one frame. So what you want to do when you make when you use this script, number one, this it, it's, it's hard to figure out, but I do know that whatever you're thinking, do one meter less. So in this case, this is three meters. Put two, and if it's over two, subtract three. That's it. That's the easiest way to do it. So if it's one, if it's two meter, then like this skill, special gauge one, when it's over two, subtract two. And then from there, just animate your attack, whatever it may be. This is the only criteria that makes it a super. If I remove that, this is nothing more than a regular attack with a, with a flash, a super flash. Now, the next thing you're probably wondering is, how do you make a super flash? That depends on you. So, for me, as you can see, this little banner appears and scrolls up slowly, and then my character says something. Actually, let's activate the sound so you hear it. Oh, maybe he doesn't say anything in that one. There we go. So, that's all it is. It's a... It's a time freeze with a banner and some kind of glowing effect to represent the player saying, this is the guy doing the super. Because if you have mirror matches, then, you know, that obviously would confuse a lot of people. So, let's, let's make a stupid behind super. We're going to go open game, desktop, new game, and new game. So, oops, no, not him. We're going to go add new skill, and we're going to say super. So on here, Soshin Day again, on here you would notice that I had something, a call skill, that. That's combo reset, don't worry about that. That's a completely different thing. For now, that is unique to my game. So we need to find the meter, the meter check. So right here change gauge value no i lied check special gauge fork so we're gonna make this starting stock nine okay we're gonna make it two and if he has two through minus three meter if he fails we're gonna send it back to i don't know weak stand 
We'll make the input similar to weak stand. So add command, super. And what is weak stand? A, okay. So we'll do down, forward, down, forward, A, something like that. Apparently I want to do one button DPs. I don't remember doing that, but whatever. Okay, now we have that. So we have the criteria and now just make an attack. So let's just copy over DP because I can. Oops, this guy has to be copied over to the front. All right, and let's give this guy the same cancel level as DP, so now he can cancel into this super. So right now, all it is is him doing this. Nothing special. We're gonna add a time stop to both players for, let's go with two seconds. Now let's have an object appear. And it's going to be pick X and Y. I want it to be on top of everything, so I'm going to pick the maximum depth. And the object I will pick... Yeah, let's go with that. So we'll copy over here. Super object. That's not what I copied, but sure. So I'll go back to here, copy, paste. We'll have it appear. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Object. We'll have it appear like right here. Yeah, sure. So now, once that Oh, and unconditional, because we don't want it to uh, disappear by a different object. What else do we need? We have a player stop, we have an object flash. That's actually all you need. Oh, you know what? We need something to signify that this is the player that did the super. So... Let's do... Actually, you know what? Instead of having it appear on the screen, on the center, because that's what I did. No, that's too complicated. I lied. We're not going to do that. What I was thinking was, we're going to have, if it's player one, his super flash always appear to the left. And if it's player two, his super flash will always appear to the right. But doing that, you need to initialize player one and two, which... I'm not going to do. That That takes too long. So yeah, we'll just have this there. We have an object. We need something to represent him. He's the one doing the super. So we're going to add another skill. Super object 2. Let's do this. We're going to do like a kind of like a shadow ghost effect. So... We'll have this last for 180 seconds. And we're going to add, uh, let's go with, nah, hmm. Let's go with color modification, I guess. Actually, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> no, I got a better idea now. We're going to go into here, do a color modification, do that. What does alpha do, I wonder? Oh, I can't even see anything. Nothing. So, let's go back to subtract. Yeah, that looks cool. So, we're going to add another image.
Okay. So, here's why I'm doing this. Sometimes when people do a super flash, they kind of do a taunt or something. So now that I think about it, let's get rid of this timer. The only person that freezes will be the opponent. Instead, we're going to do an animation on this guy. In this case, it's him turning to that negative color. So color modification, normal. So now when he does a super, there's going to be a super flash just like that. And then after two seconds, there's a super. So I don't like how that's in the background. I, let's put that... Let's try that. Yeah, that's in the background now. I like that better. So, we have a time stop, we have a banner, we have quote-unquote an animation to represent that this is the player who did the super. What else do we need? How about something that makes it a little different? I don't know. Um... Let's go into This is going to be recycled. We're going to go into BMP and we're going to go into my USB drive sources. Let's go with sprites resized find Soshin day Let's go with medium icon so I can see what I'm looking at. Objects, medium icons. Yeah, that works. So that black background that I was talking about now is coming into play. All right. So now we'll just put that object here, object here, and object here. I mean, sort of. Oh, that's why this one's a little too low. Move this guy a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now that we got that, we'll do our magical HD sprites. Bam, look at that beautiful glow. Now what I want to do is script movement, go to skill. We're going to make this cheap. We're going to go into there. We're going to add a move. Make it move about four. Yep, I like that. Now we're going to add an attack frame. Do that. 10. Shave. Continue hits. This is going to be so stupid. Sure. Yeah. And then we'll do reaction. Which will be... Hit weak stand. Okay. So... Hit weak stand. Hit weak stand. He doesn't have an air hit, so we're going to leave that. Um, so now I'm going to delete this attack and all of the attack frames and we're going to put the object generation right here unconditional we want out and it will appear right yeah that looks good And there you go. He has a super. That's a little low for my taste. Yep, there we go. So we're going to save. Now we're going to go test game. I don't have a demo. And the command was down forward, down forward. A. Okay. So... We'll do character one.
So I believe he has zero meter right now. I don't have a counter. Think that's enough? Nope. You know what? Let's do this. Start him off with 9 meters so I know he does have the meter. Alright. Let's do this. Let's see this cheap-ass super. And apparently I can't do it. Why? Oh, I know why. I know why. Because when I went to commands, I left it in 10 frames. Yeah, good luck pulling off a super like that. 60 is... I think... Doable. Yeah, look at that damage. Look at that cheap-ass damage. It OTK'd him. <laughs> Let's do it up close. Yeah, look at that damage. Look at that damage. Yeah, OP. And there's Kai Kisuke because we won the round. That is a KO. And I crashed. All right, well, let's just uh, close that. So that's how you make a super. Like I said, it's no different than... It's no different than a normal attack.